Sunday Sarah and Tiro. Dear students, today I am going to discuss relationship between zeros and coefficient of a polynomial. What is the relationship between zeros and coefficient of a given polynomial? In general, if alpha and beta are the zeros of the quadratic polynomial P of x, we have to consider alpha and beta be the zeros of the quadratic polynomial. P of x that is equal to ax square plus bx plus c. Here this is the general form of quadratic polynomial already you know where a is not equal to 0 then you know that if this is a quadratic polynomial alpha and beta are the zeros of the quadratic polynomial then x minus alpha and x minus beta are the factors of p of px this concept already you learned in your previous class x minus alpha and x minus beta are the factors of p of px Therefore, ax square plus bx plus c is equal to k into x minus alpha into x minus beta, where k is any constant here, k is any constant. x minus alpha and into x minus beta, these are the zeros of the polynomial, these are the factors of the given polynomial. That is equal to, see, this is the form of a minus b into a plus b, or x minus a into x minus b, already we know identity. That gives us x square minus a plus b into x plus a b. This you have learned already. x minus a into x minus b. This is same as x minus alpha into x minus beta is same as x minus a into x minus b. It can be written as k as it is x square minus alpha plus beta in place of a alpha in place of b beta is here. So alpha plus beta a plus b alpha plus beta into x plus a into b is the thing of alpha into beta. Now, this is comparing, after that we have to compare the coefficient of x square, x and constant term on both sides. LHS is ax square plus bx plus c. ax square plus bx plus c is equal to k into x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta. See, the coefficient of x square is a. Compare this a with here k into x square k is common, see a is equal to k in place of a, you have to multiply k x square, k x square, e a x square so the coefficient of a is k, a is k next b, in place of x, the coefficient of x, k into alpha plus beta into x so the coefficient of x is k into alpha beta, see b, coefficient of x is b here, so b is equal to minus sin is here, minus k into minus k into alpha plus beta this k belongs to other terms alpha plus beta in constant term c k into alpha plus beta c is equal to k into alpha plus beta compare all the coefficients here coefficients of x square x and constant term on both sides this is LHS and RHS it implies that alpha plus beta is equal to c alpha plus beta is equal to transpose this thing k to RHS LHS that gives us minus b by k actually but k is equal to a so we can replace minus b divided by a how oh, minus b by a alpha plus beta is equal to keep alpha plus beta as it is transpose this k to LHS that gives us minus b by k minus b by k but k is a so we can write this as minus b by a next product of zero alpha into beta see alpha beta is equal to Transpose this k to LHS that gives us c by k again k is a again k is a so alpha beta is equal to c by a by seeing these two results we can conclude therefore sum of zeros alpha plus beta is a thing we have considered already alpha and beta are zeros of the polynomial so sum of zeros is equal to minus b by a that is nothing but what minus sign as it is b is the coefficient of x coefficient of x divided by a is the coefficient of x square coefficient of x square similarly product of zeros c by a that is alpha beta alpha into beta is equal to c divided by a that is the model c is the constant term divided by a is coefficient of x square uh, this is the relation between zeros and coefficient of a polynomial. This statement is very important. You should remember this one. By using these, we can solve some questions. By using this relation, we can solve some questions. 
I'll solve next some questions. Yes, by using the relation between coefficients and polynomial, I will discuss one example. Find the zeros of the polynomial x square plus seven x plus ten. This is a quadratic polynomial, and verify their relations between the zeros and coefficients. We have to verify this one. Relationship between the zeros and coefficients. Solution. First, we have to find the zeros. We don't know. Let us consider p of x b x square plus seven x plus ten. This is the quadratic polynomial. We have to find the zeros of this polynomial first. X square plus seven x plus ten. By splitting the middle term, the coefficient already you know this method. The coefficient of x square is 1 into constant term is 10. We have to multiply this one. This two it gives us 10. Now we have to split 10 as the sum of difference of those two factors must be 7. So 10 can be written as 2 phi z. We need plus 7, so both should be considered as positive one. Now we have to write x square plus 2x plus 5x plus 10. Split 7x as 2x into 5x. Now this is equal to take x common, x plus 2. This is one group. In the second group, we have to take plus 5 common, x plus 2. Now x plus 2 is one factor, and x plus 5 is another factor. Equate these two are zero, we will get zero as the polynomial. Therefore, x plus 2 is equal to zero. R and x plus 5 is equal to zero. X is equal to minus 2. Transpose this plus 2 to R H S. R H is equal to minus 5. So these are the zeros of the polynomial. These two are the zeros of the polynomial. Now we have to verify this one by using the relationship. What is the relationship? Sum of zeros. Sum of zeros. That is alpha plus beta is equal to. Minus b divided by a. Minus b divided by a. So actually, alpha plus beta is minus b by a. C. B coefficient of x is seven. Here minus sign as it is seven divided by seven divided by a is the coefficient of x square is one. Minus seven by one gives us minus seven only. So zeros are minus two. Plus of minus seven. See, minus two plus of minus five. These are the zeros. If you add these two also, minus two plus of minus minus five. That gives us minus seven only. So sum of zeros very bad. Sum of zeros very bad. Similarly, product of zeros. Product of zeros. Alpha into beta is equal to c by a. This address is already you know. Sum of zeros equal to minus c by a. Product of zeros is equal to c by a. This is already you know. C by a. C is nothing but what constant term. Ten divided by a is nothing but what coefficient of x square one that gives us ten only. So what is the product of zeros? Alpha into beta c minus two. Alpha is minus two into beta is minus five. Minus two into minus five. Minus two minus plus two five is ten. Therefore. Sum and product of zeros are very bad. Therefore, sum and product of zeros are very bad. This is the solution about the given question. One more type of question I will discuss now. Find a quadratic polynomial. The sum And product of whose zeros are minus three and minus two respectively. One more type of question. Find a quadratic polynomial. Here, quadratic polynomial is given. You have to find. You have to verify the relationship between zeros and coefficients. First, you have to find the zeros, and later you have to verify. Already verified. Next type of question is find a quadratic polynomial. The sum and product of whose zeros are given directly here. No need to find. We don't know the. Uh, polynomial that you have to find. Okay, solution. So in this case, directly 
sometimes polynomial will be given, sometimes directly zeros will be given. So in this case, what is the condition? So to find the quadratic polynomial, we have to use this relation x square into x square plus sum of zeros into x plus product of zeros. This is a relation. This is the relation or like Parnava you should remember this one to find if you know sum of zeros and product of zeros we can write the quadratic polynomial this is a quadratic polynomial standard form therefore here sum of zeros alpha plus beta is minus 3 and product of zeros alpha into beta is 2 it is given here ok by using these two we have to write here therefore quadratic polynomial is or required quadratic polynomial is required quadratic polynomial is x square as it is plus sum of zeros alpha plus beta is substitute just value is minus 3 into x as it is plus alpha beta 2 that gives us simplified addition x square plus into minus is minus 3 into x is minus 3x plus 2. This is the required quadratic polynomial. This is the required quadratic polynomial. By using the given zeros, we need to write the quadratic polynomial. This is the standard form to write the quadratic polynomial. So you should remember this one. This is important here. Okay? You should remember this one. These type of questions were asked in the previous exam. So you have to remember this one. Next, I will start one more type of text. Now I am going to discuss exercise 2.2. First question. Find the zeros of the quadratic polynomial and verify the relationship between zeros and coefficients. Same. This type of question is one question already I have explained. Find the zeros of the quadratic polynomial and verify the relationship between zeros and coefficients. First question is x square minus 2x minus a. First you have to find the zeros of this quadratic polynomial. Solution x square minus 2x minus a is the quadratic polynomial. We have to split the middle term. See the coefficient of x square is 1, constant term is minus a. 1 into minus a uses minus a. Split minus a as the sum or difference of those two numbers must be minus 2. See, 4 to the 8, 4 to the 8, but we need minus 2. So I take this is minus 4 plus 2. See, minus 4 plus 2 gives us minus 2. Minus 4 into plus 2 gives us minus 8. Like you have to split the terms. I will load all these. Now we have to write this one as x square minus 2x I write minus 4x plus 2x see minus 4x plus 2x is same as minus 2x or I write plus 2x minus 4x minus 8 here this is one term this is one group this is second group in the first group take x common x minus 4 plus 2 in the second group you have to take common here also x minus 4 so x minus 4 is one factor and remaining is x plus 2 is the other factor. Equate these two are zeros. You get zeros of the polynomial. x minus 4 is equal to 0 or x plus 2 is equal to 0. So x is equal to 4 is 1 0. x is equal to minus 2. Transpose minus 4 to RHS that gives us plus 4 plus 2 to RHS that is minus 2. These are the zeros. Now we have to verify this one. Sum of zeros. Sum of zeros is equal to alpha plus beta. That is equal to alpha plus beta is nothing but what x is. Otherwise, relation you have to take minus b divided by a. Minus b by a. So, minus sign as it is, the value of b, coefficient of x is minus 4 here. So, minus of minus 4 divided by a is coefficient of x square is 1. Minus of minus is plus 4 by 1 gives us 4. What is the actual sum? See, sum 
1 is 4 plus 4 plus of x minus 4 and x plus 2. Okay. 4 minus b divided by a. Sorry, I have taken say minus b by a. Equation is here. Minus of minus 2, not 4. Okay. 2 here. Yeah. So minus of minus that gives us plus 2 divided by 1 is the limit of 2 only. See, 1 zero is 4 plus of minus 2. Other 0. What is the sum? 4 plus of minus is minus 2 gives us. So sum of zeros verified here. Sum of zeros verified. Similarly, product of zeros. Product of zeros. That is alpha into beta is equal to c divided by a. c is minus a with the same divided by a is again 1. Minus 8 by 1 is nothing but what? Minus 8. What are the zeros? Zeros are 4 into minus 2. Multiply these two because product of zeros. 4 into minus 2 gives us minus 8. Therefore, sum of zeros according to the relationship is 2. Product of zeros is minus 8. Sum and product of zeros are verified. Therefore, sum and product of zeros. Similarly, second question is same as this only. I hope you will solve the second question. Now I will take third question. This is little change because this is not in the form of standard form of the quadratic polynomial. See, 6x square minus 3 minus 7x. Actually, a, it is ax square plus bx plus c is the general form of quadratic polynomial. But this is not in the general form of quadratic polynomial. First step is we have to write this polynomial in the standard, standard form of quadratic polynomial. First, see 6x six, six, square minus 7x minus 3. Just to rearrange these two terms, it gives us the standard form of the quadratic polynomial. First, always x square, next x, next constant term should be there. Then only that is the standard form of the quadratic polynomial. Next is as it is said. Now you have to find the zeros of this polynomial later you have to verify. See, 6x square minus 7x minus 3 that is equal to. So find the coefficient of x square is 6 a e into constant term is minus 3. 6 is a minus 18. You have to split minus 18 as 6 into 3. Sorry, 6 into minus 3 that is equal to minus 18. Split minus 18 as the sum of difference of two factors must be minus 7. So, what are the factors? You have to take 9 to the 18. 9 to the 18, but we need minus 7. So, minus 9 plus 2. Minus 9 plus 2 is minus 18. Minus 9 plus, sorry, minus 9 into plus 2 is minus 18. Minus 9 plus 2 is minus 7. So, it can be written as 6x square minus 9x plus 2x minus 3. 6x square minus 9x plus 2x minus 3. Minus 9 plus 2 gives us minus 7. That is equal to, now you have to make this is one root, this is second root. In the first root, what is the highest common factor of 6 and 9? 3 is the highest common factor. Take 3 common, 3 to the 6x square minus 3, 3 is the 9. X. Otherwise, you have to take 3x common 2x minus 3 plus 1 you have to take common 1 you have to take common because there is no common here also 2x minus 3 that is equal to 2x minus 3 is one factor and 3x plus 1 is another factor equate these two are zeros equate these two equal to zero you get zeros of the polynomial 2x that is 2x minus 3 is equal to 0 and 3x plus 1 is equal to 0 so 2x is equal to transpose minus 3 to RHS that gives us 3 x is equal to 3 divided by 2 this is 1 0 
and 3x is equal to minus 1, x is equal to minus 1 divided by 3. This is second zero of the polynomial. Now we have to verify sum of zeros. Sum of zeros. We know the relation that is alpha plus beta is equal to minus b divided by a. Minus b is b value is b is equal to coefficient of x. This is minus n. Alpha b value is minus. So minus seven divided by a is coefficient of x square is six. That gives us minus into minus is plus seven by six. Plus seven by six. So actually, what is these two zeros are? Sum three by two plus minus plus or minus is equal to minus one by three. Find the sum of these two. One zero is three by two. Other zero is minus one by three. Three by two plus or minus two is minus. Take the LCM. LCM is six. Three two is a. It should be multiplied by three. It should be multiplied by two. Three three is a nine. Minus one into two is two. Now nine minus two is seven by six. See by using the relation alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a that gives us seven by six. Actually we have two zeros. If we add these two zeros also, we we'll get seven by six. So sum of two zeros very bad. Similarly product of zeros. Product of zeros is. Alpha beta is equal to c by a relation algorithm. C is constant term that is minus the width side divided by a is six. Coefficient of x square is minus three by six in the middle minus one by two. Three one side three two side. Now to find the zeros product of zeros, see three by two into minus one by three. See minus one by three. That gives us this three this three get cancelled minus one. Divided by two. See, sum and product of two zeros. Sum and product of zeros very particular. This is a quadratic polynomial. Here in this case, this polynomial is not in the form of standard form. We should write this in the standard form of the quadratic polynomial. Later we have to proceed all these. This is the procedure. Last we have to write the conclusion. Therefore, sum and product of zeros are verified. I hope you understood this one. Next level.